Now question number four, the performance of students in first term and second term is given. Draw a double paragraph choosing appropriate scale and answer the following. Here the marks obtained by a student in first term and second term are given in subject wise. Now let's move on to a solution. Here first let us take the bar graph. The subjects he attended are given on the x axis and the marks obtained by a student are taken on y axis. Here when we see the above table form, maximum marks are 95. So take the scale up to 100. And here scale is equals to 1 unit is equals to 10 marks. Here since we take the incremental of 10, so 1 unit is equals to 10 marks. Now here locate the points on the bar graph in English in the first term 67 marks and in the second term 70 marks in English. So locate the point here 70 is located here and 67 is located here. Blue one is called the first term marks obtained by a student and the red, red one is called the second term of marks obtained by a student. Now we get the bar graph as above. So now we find the solution for the first part. In the first part they have asked us in which subject has the child improved his performance the most. When we see the bar graph the child improved his performance the most in the subject of maths. And in the second part he have asked us in which subject is the improvement the least. So when we see the above bar graph we can find the improvement is least in the subject of science. Now let's move on to the third part. Has the performance gone down in any subject? Now when we see the above bar graph, his performance has gone down in the subject of Hindi. So yes, the performance has gone down in the subject of Hindi.